Hello guys, so we met near protocol here at the conference in Paris and now we have this opportunity to ask questions about the near and our Aurora DeFi protocol. Uh, nice meeting you, Alex. Uh, Alex is uh, CEO of uh, Aurora. It's a Ethereum virtual machine and smart contract on uh, near protocol which uh, offers scalable solutions with uh, low transaction fees. So Alex, can you tell us more about Aurora? and how the idea of uh, creation of Aurora come to you. Okay, thanks. Thanks for having me. So, um, as you probably know, uh, NIR is the Gen3 blockchain that is focused on the developer experience and uh, scalability. So the, the most important thing about NIR protocol is that it allows uh, the horizontal scalability of the blockchain through sharding mechanism. Mm -hmm. So there are lots of very interesting features inside of Neo Protocol for developers. Uh, pretty simple and pretty powerful accounts uh, accounts for users. Accounts that are, have names actually. So so my personal account is as.near, right? Mm -hmm. uh, and instead of you know twenty bytes of the Ethereum address and stuff like that. Um, uh, however, Neo Protocol being a very interesting and uh, you know next step into bringing blockchains to. Uh, to the wide public, uh, uh, it will be really, really nice thing to have something that is compatible with the Ethereum blockchain, right? Uh, it just because just just a couple of months ago, Ethereum blockchain was at the at the market cap of a half a trillion, and there are even more value captured there through the different tokens that are operating there, and through smart contracts that are already there that uh, people cannot have that are managing billions of dollars. And obviously, there is no point in throwing it out, right? Yeah. Um, and uh, the good thing to would be to implement uh, is some kind of compatibility solution that will allow to run these smart contracts on top of near blockchain, right? More efficient, uh, with lower transaction fees, with fast finality, and, and stuff like that, right? So, um, and this is actually the, the main idea of Aurora. Let's create a product for Ethereum community that will help to expand uh, Ethereum uh, economy uh, to, to additional blockchain, to, to, to near blockchain, on top of near blockchain, with the minimum uh, burdens, with the minimum problems for mm -hmm. migration. So, yeah, this is actually what, what we do in Aurora. And Aurora is in quite early stage, so why uh, developers should uh, choose Aurora to build on it? Well, I cannot say that it is in, in, in an early stage. Um, Aurora is in production already, mm -hmm. so it is uh, operational on the mainnet. And we have like two main pieces for Aurora. First one is the actual Ethereum virtual machine and an ability to execute your smart contracts on, uh, on top of near blockchain, so inside of Aurora. Uh, and another part is the bridge. So uh, users are also able to bridge tokens from Ethereum to Aurora directly using only their MetaMask. So, so from that point of view, I can say that it is already in a good stage, right? Uh, now, the reason to choose Aurora, I can say that there is no reason for choosing Aurora, right? Because you can do both, right? Uh, yeah. You can do, you can develop your solution for Ethereum blockchain with solidity uh, using the, all of the tools that you used to, to use as a developer, like Hard Hat or Truffle or Remix, uh, uh, as a, yeah, or Remix, right? Or, or anything other, or any other things. Uh, but the good thing about Aurora is that it is fully compatible with the Ethereum ecosystem. So you develop your solution, you develop your project, or maybe you already did it. But what you can do right now with Aurora, you can just deploy it as is, without any changes, to an additional chain, to an additional so so an additional people, uh, the ecosystem of Aurora is able to use the same product, mm. right? So uh, this is not the question of choice in between these two. Uh, this is just uh, Aurora gives you an ability to to extend the economy. So that's why, from from our point of view, this is a, this is a pretty good um, uh, proposal. Um, in Aurora, you do not need to have your you know, some kind of specific token to operate. Aurora operates with F as a base token, right? So everything that you get used to in Ethereum ecosystem, it is replicated with Aurora. The main magic is happening behind the scenes because Aurora is working on top of Nier and we have this additional performance. 
And so you're now in fundraising stage. Uh, can you share with us which funds did you get on board? Uh, so yeah, Aurora is doing a fundraise right now. It actually in the in the last stage uh, already. Uh, we are just closing the deals. Uh, I'm not going to go too deep into the into the details of what is happening there and you know the the allocations and stuff like that. Uh, but I can say uh, that uh, well, probably one of the, the biggest funds are on board with us. Uh, names like uh, um, Dragonfly, Electric, Pantera. Alameda, uh, they are all interested in the Aurora launch. And that's impressive. And uh, what partnerships uh, did you get with what companies uh, do you work or do you plan to work? Yeah, we've got quite a lot of interest from the Ethereum community, especially because of the simplicity of the solution. Um, uh, we are, well, first of all, I can advise you to go to the Aurora website, aurora.dev. Uh, there are lots of information there about the partnerships. Uh, but uh, in terms of the projects who are interested in, uh, in, in deploying their solutions on Aurora, uh, we have projects like um, SushiSwap, mm -hmm. uh, Dodo, Ampleforth, uh, uh, Storage, Siren, uh, Anchor, uh, SuperRare, and, and many, many others, right? So all of the projects that you most probably have heard of. Uh, again, uh, we do not have any you know, binding things, we mm -hmm. are not forcing people to have an exclusivity or you know to, to force them to deploy no we are open to everybody you can try it out you can experiment and again uh, I believe the most important thing for the projects from that, that we are proposing from our point of view is uh, just the simplicity uh, of the integration you do not need to integrate stuff you just need to deploy yeah, that's great that uh, you get such uh, big known companies into your ecosystem. And uh, can you share your views on DeFi? What is the future of DeFi? What are the biggest trends for you? Oh, <clears throat> so, so there are many different, uh, uh, many different thoughts around it. From my point of view, DeFi opens uh, quite a lot of new, um, like new new regions that were before uh, today, uh, they were out of, of the scope. And it helps many, many, many uh, different projects. So for example, there is one project, uh, I just want to, want to name one thing. There is one project that is, it, it is like a little bit a side project to define, right? But, uh, but anyway, there is one project that is working right now on near protocol. It is called, uh, uh, so how is it called? It is called the, <laughs> okay. But this is like some kind of crowdsourcing uh, project where people are able to come and uh, just write the description of the of the image. Mm -hmm. uh, this is needed for the um, for the uh, artificial intelligence and mm -hmm. uh, educating the neural networks, and they are able to earn their uh, a little bit of near tokens. And uh, for for the countries where people are are poor. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, this is actually a very, very massive uh, thing because uh, government is not taking care of their people. They are not getting employed. Are, the market for local talent is super low. So that's why they are seeking additional means how to earn a little bit of money, right? And for them, this might be a super, super big change. Mm -hmm. So, so really uh, helping the unbanked population, helping the people who are very poor, um, and opening additional opportunities for these people is super, super important. Um, in terms of the challenges, uh, from my point of view, uh, the future is uh, multi-chain, as we can mm -hmm. see right now. Obviously, Ethereum is a leader here, uh, but uh, as we. What we can see from the from the recent developments is that uh, uh, quite a lot of the uh, blockchains with the EVM compatibility are appearing, and uh, they are all taking their piece of the market, I would say, or like they they are finding their place. <clears throat> and uh, the most important challenge, from my point of view, right now, in front of the whole industry, is to create uh, cross-chain standards and cross-chain, you know protocols for mm -hmm. communication and uh, for making sure that uh, uh, this this new life in in on the planet of the blockchain where we have multiple different countries represented as different blockchains itself uh, 
that the, the life there is simple and there is not a lot of bureaucracy like in the in the current uh, state of affairs in, in, in the real world right so uh, and because of this we need to implement some good uh, standards and some some good approaches how different chains can communicate with each other mm -hmm. how tokens can be transferred in between different chains and how s smart contracts that are working on one chain can either be uh, translated to other chains or mm -hmm. can be accessed directly from the other chains so th these are all of the questions that that aurora is uh, is working with uh, is, is working in, in these directions right and, and we're inviting actually uh, all of the existing projects that are that are helping ethereum to grow um, to join us and uh, and help us to develop good standards uh, i think we we have lots of things to to be tackled together uh, let's uh, let's be colleagues instead of the competitors. And do you plan as well to launch your own native token for Aurora? Uh, there is no Aurora token right now. I, as, um, I, I just wanted. To, um, I'm not, not quite sure whether I was mentioning this or not. The Aurora token, or like the token that you need to use for the base uh, for the for the gas fees, right? The base token of Aurora is app. Mm -hmm. This is one of the points why. Aurora is so simple to integrate. You don't need, and nor the developers, neither users need to uh, buy an additional token mm -hmm. and and do something with it, right? And and because of this, it is much simpler. You don't need to change your smart contracts. You don't need to change the integrations with oracles mm -hmm. or with uh, with the exchanges where you are trying to get the, the exchange rates and stuff like that. So we have F as a base token. There is no Aurora token yet, and in case you are seen anywhere. Somebody connecting to you and uh, come. <laughs> a, a asking, you know, proposing to sell a raw mm -hmm. token uh, with a reference to our project, then yes, this is scam. Uh, <clears throat> the way how we would like to launch the, the governance of Aurora is through the DAO because we believe that this is super important for the decentralization mm -hmm. and this is the most important thing uh, that, uh, that it is not centralized in a single company. Mm -hmm. uh, it's better. It's better that uh, the community is actually making the decisions about the project development. So uh, we are helping the community to organize the DAO uh, right now. Uh, and then in case the DAO will decide to issue a token, then this will be the decision, the decision of the DAO. Uh, whether it is going to be there or not, unfortunately, I cannot say right now. So let's see how the DAO is going to decide. And what's next for Aurora? Okay, so that's that's a nice question. So uh, we are uh, working on multiple initiatives right now mm -hmm. and multiple additional features for Aurora. Uh, just to name a few, uh, I can say that we are working first of all on the making bridge transfers faster. Mm -hmm. Right now, uh, transfers of Aurora bridge are well, quite fast. Yeah, that's so, quite necessary feature right now. <laughs> that's true. So from Ethereum to, to, to Nier, to Aurora, right? And to Nier in general, the, the transfers are taking around five minutes only. Uh, so this is, I believe, the best thing that you are able actually to, to have with the, mm -hmm. the, the empiric Ethereum finality. And the transfers back from Aurora to, to Ethereum, they are taking around uh, six hours. So we, we are trying to optimize this six hours and lower it to five minutes, it is possible. Mm -hmm. And uh, we're just working on this solution right now. This is one thing. Another thing that uh, we need to mention is that uh, since NEAR is a sharded blockchain, uh, we are working on the implementation of the sharded version of the Aurora. Mm -hmm. So literally we are working towards the same goal as F2.0 developers are working. Uh, so helping Ethereum to scale, not only today, with some additional resources, some additional um, some kind of solutions, but also we're helping Ethereum to scale tomorrow when the demand is going to be, uh, is going to access what the current projects are proposing. So thank you for such interesting conversation and sharing your vision and good luck with development of Aurora. <laughs> Thanks. Uh, see you soon. Thank you.